Hello and welcome to the channel. In the last video I did a walk around review of the Aaron's Icon XD. In this video we're going to mow with it and see how well it mows. I am 350 miles away from my nice beautiful lawn so we're going to do something a little bit different today. I got three different properties that we're going to mow. The first one here is a lawn that's normally mowed as low as the mower can go. Uh, it's been left for about three weeks now, so it's kind of scraggly. Uh, there's a lot of weeds in it. The plantain is all headed out, the clover, so on and so forth. Uh, if you look around, you can see that uh, there's quite a bit of tall uh, water grass and even a weed there that's about uh, almost three foot tall. So let's see how well it cuts this. I'm going to mow this first patch here at three inches. After we're done here, we're going to go see how well it mows ditches. Uh, I have a spot that has some fairly steep ditches to mow. Let's see how well it hangs on that. And then finally, uh, there's a lawn that has only been mowed once this year. Uh, so we'll go over and uh, mow that and see how well it'll clear cut that heavy growth. So let's get started. Down in the dirt. We'll mow this strip through here first and then I'll turn the camera and mow that really tall stuff.
so that was the first lawn. If you noticed right over there between the house and the garage, that water grass, the first pass that I took through there, it cut 90% of it, but uh, I still needed to go over it one more time. So, and you can see that it windrows that really heavy wet grass just a little bit with the discharge. If I was gonna mow a lot of that, I would probably lift the discharge up a couple inches so it spread it out evener. But when you move over and look at this area, if you look at this area, it clean cut it just perfectly. Uh, all those plantain stems, the tall weak grass, and of course the clover, it cut it all nice and even. I'm uh, I'm impressed with the mower deck so far. Okay, next lawn we're going to do ditches. I'll see you there. All right, second lawn we're going to mow today is in Illinois. Uh, this is the family farm, and this front ditch out here, I know there's not a lot to mow, but I want to see how this does on this slope. This grass is dry, so it's going to be a little extra slippery. Um, wait for the trucks to go by. One of the local elevators is uh, got a good price on corn today, so everybody's hauling corn. So as I was saying, the slope to your left is not too bad. It should be able to handle that very well. The slope on the right though, the last time I mowed that was with a 110 John Deere and you had to be all the way out on the fender to get enough weight, to get enough balance so you could mow through here. So let's uh, see how she does. All right, let's get right down to the bottom of the deck ditch first. It did hang on that slope pretty well. I felt pretty comfortable until I got all the way over to here. The mower probably could have done it, but I was just uncomfortable. I didn't feel like I wanted to get on that edge. I know that's really steep there. Um, 
we've actually tipped mowers over on that spot. So yeah, it'll handle slopes well. What else can we do out here? Try it on that side. Yeah, I could go out there. So the reason there isn't a lot to mow here, this, this is a typical bluegrass lawn. This lawn is probably close to 100 years old. And my father's been mowing it high all the years, so we don't get a lot of uh, weeds in it. I see he's mowing it a little bit shorter here th this year, so the plantain is coming in. But uh, the rest of the lawn, you mow it high, you don't get any weeds. This time of year though, this hot of weather, the corn is growing as, you can watch the corn grow, but the, the bluegrass will, will dry out. So back in, in October or so, everything starts to grow again. And that's my dad. Just turned 94 years old. He mows the, mows the lawn with his Dixon zero turn all the time. Well, it's pretty bright and sunny out here today, so I will see how well this uh, camera will show what we're doing. At least it is windy, only 92 degrees. So this area here, he normally mows with a larger tractor, but uh, so it's grown up a little bit more and uh, it does, there is quite a bit of heavy grass buildup from using his Ford loader tractor to mow this with, but let's see how this will clear cut this. We, we got a thunderstorm working up here for the side of Yeah, that's why I wanted to get out here today because... Uh, see, look how that deep that grass is yet. Yep. Yeah, it's, the turf on this is, there's a lot of turf here. Uh, it's, yeah, this, uh, this, when you mow high, you end up with a good looking lawn. It's gonna, it'll hold up to a lot of stuff. When you drop a, drop a bluegrass lawn below three inches, all you get is weeds. And you don't get this nice thatch layer built up that, that it really needs to survive. she wanted to slip off the side of that hill <laughs> but it wasn't that uncomfortable or is it you, you should have taken one strip along the highway then the next one that's not what really gets you and that's why i noticed that that's why i didn't mow it i was afraid i was afraid the mower want, would want to slide down on me so 
I did go over that culvert, if you notice. I That's right. I, I, I do it. That's <laughs> well, what did you think? That hill is actually pretty steep. Uh, it's as, as steep as the other one. The grass is pretty thick. You can see it uh, blew that, all that old dead grass very nicely. Uh, got a little bit there on that back swath. You can see where it piled it up, but that's right in the bottom of the ditch. So if that was level, uh, it would throw it nice and evenly. Right over to your left, that little slope right there, it did want to slide down that a little bit, but it wasn't uh, uncomfortable. In other words, I didn't feel like the machine was going to tip over. It's just this grass is so dry, and which makes it slippery. So I like the way it cuts so far, even on that old that grass there that never gets cut with a good mower. Uh, the cut is very even. So all right. Last lawn, we're going to look at one that's only been mowed once this year. So let's go, to, let's go do it. All right, and here's the last lawn. This was mowed for the first time of the year, all oh, about six weeks ago. It's been sitting here growing for about six weeks. So this errand is supposed to be really good at cutting taller growth. So let's see how it does. I'm going to put it at four inches and let's get started. It does a pretty good job of cutting it the first time. Uh, I am going to have to go back over this again and mow it one more time to get it perfectly even. But uh, I think it's doing real good for a first pass. This grass is real heavy bluegrass and it's probably laid over. It's probably a foot tall. So I'm going to mow this center section one more time so you can see how well it does cut and then I'll mow the rest of it.
that was a pretty tough project for a residential lawnmower. If you notice, it spread all that old dead grass out nice and evenly. Uh, it cut it. The first couple passes we did, the grass was a lot heavier than the rest of it. And uh, so I did have to go over it twice. But uh, it ended up, there's no stragglers, anything like that. Uh, towards the edges, it wasn't there as tall, and you can see that it cut it first pass through. So I'm real impressed with how well this does in the higher grass. Um, I also realized that I didn't have it at running at full RPM the first couple passes either. So once I revved that up, then everything was really cutting well. So what do you guys think? I like this mower a lot. Overall, I really like the way it cuts. I like the fact that the deck sticks out to the left more than it does to the right. So it really works nice for like trimming around these utility poles and stuff like that. Um, I'm not running into things um, as much with that deck as I am with the Toro. And I think it's because the deck is sticking out as far as it does. So when I look down, I see the edge of the deck quicker than if I do and I do with the Toro 50 inch. But that's just me and getting used to a mower, I think. One thing I don't like about residential mowers, and this one is no exception, is the seat is low compared to a commercial mower. Um, I'd like to see this seat raised up about four or five inches. That way I'd be able to get on and off of it a lot better. For most people, that won't be a problem for you. You know, it sits down like a race car and off you go. If the seat is higher, uh, it'll work a lot better for us old timers. Us guys that are old and stiff. So I probably will put a Don bar on this machine to help me on and off. I will leave a link in the description below to the Don bars. Aaron's does make a mulch kit for this. And uh, if you're Got a nice lawn and you want to keep it well maintained and mulch, uh, this errands will do a very good job for you. Overall, I like the tires. Uh, I like the traction. This has a lot of traction. Um, I like the taller tires. That helps with the traction. I like the steering on this a lot. It's very, very smooth. That combined with the traction, uh, this thing is just as, as nice as any other zero turn I've ever driven as far as ease of use. It's a little rough, but I think it's not the seat that's doing that, it's the front tires. I need to check the tire pressure on them to make for sure that they're not over, over pressurized. I like this mower better than the Aaron's Edge. Uh, the Aaron's Edge is a great starter mower for people. And if you got a lot the size of this one, uh, the Aaron's Edge is just perfect, but the XD is a little bit heavier built. If you got um, a really rough old lawn or you got lawns bigger than this, then you might want to look at the XD. It's just a just a few hundred dollars more, and you get uh, a very well built machine. Again, I did the walk around review of this in the previous video. If you have any questions on that or this video or if you'd like to know how it compares to some of the other ones, feel free to ask in the comment section below. If you like this video, please like it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Talk to you later, bye. Down in the